In today's video, we're gonna be comparing two incredible dog breeds, the wonderful Welsh Corgi and the lovable English Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Corgi Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Corgi. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Corgi. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Corgi, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss a future Corgi video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll begin with the history of the English Bulldog, whose roots reach back to the days when bull baiting and even bear baiting was popular pastime in England. Huge sums of money changed hands in these competitions and the dogs used were the infamous old English Bulldogs. Over 700 years, blood sports were finally banned in England in the year 1835 and the Old English Bulldog was developed into two separated branches from this point forward. By crossing the Bulldog with Terriers, breeders created a more agile dog who became the ancestor of bully breeds such as the American Pit Bull Terrier and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The other line evolved into the popular English Bulldog that we have today, whilst the original English Bulldog became extinct. Now the history of the Corgi is divided into the two separate Corgi breeds that we have today, with the Cardigan being the older one. Cardigans may have even been the UK's most ancient dog breed. Their ancestors were brought to Wales in around 12,000 BC by the Celtic tribes of Central Europe. Cardigan Welsh Corgis stem from a German hunting breed that is quite popular today, the Dachshund. They owe their breed name to the medieval kingdom of Cardiganshire in Wales. Both Cardigan and Pembroke Welsh Corgis were used as herding dogs for cattle, but the Pembroke is a relatively young breed whose origins reach back to around 1000 AD. The first dogs resembling modern day Pembrokes entered Wales along with the Vikings. Pembrokes are descended of Nordic Spitzbreeds and have gained worldwide popularity as favourite pets of Queen Elizabeth II. The American Kennel Club lists the dog as the 13th most popular breed among the country's 197 officially registered dog breeds. Up to the year 1934, both types of corgis were considered a single breed. In appearance, both corgi breeds closely resemble one another, but they are quite far removed from the English Bulldog. Corgis are a dwarf breed, and in a very simplified manner, one could say they look like German Shepherds or Smooth Collies on short legs. The main difference between the two is that Pembrokes are born without a tail and have pointed ears. Cardigans have tails and rounded ears. In size, adult Pembrokes are up to 30 centimetres tall, respectively 12 inches, and weigh up to 13 kilos, which is around 28 pounds. Slightly larger and heavier, cardigans are up to 33 centimetres tall, that's 13 inches, and weigh up to 14 kilos or 30 pounds. Both corgis have a dense double coat of medium length that can come in a wide array of colours, such as fawn, red and sable. For the cardigan, merle is also permitted. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're not following us on Instagram already, we are doing tons of helpful, valuable content over there that I'm sure you'll love. We've got a couple of different pages that I think you'll really enjoy. First is our Fenrir business account, where we do loads of stuff about training, some of our products, services, and just what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, building the fastest growing canine company in the world. And maybe you'll be interested in checking out my personal Instagram, that's at I am Will Atherton. Again, if you're interested, there'll be links in the description Sorry for interrupting the video, I'll let you get straight back to it. Larger and considerably heavier than the Corgi, the English Bulldog can grow up to 40 centimetres at the wither, which amounts to 16 inches. In weight, adults can reach 25 kilos or 55 pounds. Bulldogs have very short and tight coats that can come in many colours, including white, red, fawn, brindle, piebald and brindle with white. But the English Bulldog's most marked features are their short, snub-nosed faces adorned with plenty of wrinkles. This gives the dog a permanently grumpy facial expression. In terms of their temperament, English Bulldogs, as well as Corgis, are absolutely amazing companion dog breeds. Their compact size and gentle nature makes them ideal pets for families, city dwellers and senior dog owners. These even-tempered dogs are great with children and friendly to people in general, but at the same time both breeds make quite decent watchdogs, and the larger heavier bulldog even has some guarding abilities to offer. 
True to their fighting dog heritage, bulldogs are fearless by nature, and any would-be burglar trying to scare an English bulldog off might quickly change their mind. Whilst the corgi is not born an aggressive dog either, especially the Pembroke can put on quite a show when it comes to expressing its dissatisfaction with a situation, like for example, someone breaking into the house. Corgis and bulldogs are amazing with children of all ages and other pets. With that said, bulldogs can develop dog aggression and less well socialised. So there's no doubt about it. These unique dog breeds make marvellous family pets. But how easy is it to teach them tricks or basic obedience? In other words, how intelligent and trainable are these dogs? For, like most dog breeds for working with cattle, Welsh corgis are quite smart and eager to work. They learn quickly and love to perform what they have learned, always aiming to please their owners. And this high eagerness to please is what makes the corgi so easy to train. They successfully perform in herding trials, agility and obedience competitions. The English Bulldog on the other hand is a bit different to say the least. These bulky dogs are known for their stubborn and independent nature. But even though they are slower at learning than the keen corgi, bulldogs can absolutely be taught basic obedience and impeccable manners. It just takes a bit more patience to get them there. And now let's discuss the exercise and grooming needs of these very special breeds. As a herding dog, the corgi should be given around an hour of exercise per day. This may seem a lot for such a small canine, but corgis are working dogs after all, and easily can keep up with their owners on brisk walks and hikes. Contrary to the untiring corgi, the English bulldog is a couch potato of the dog world. Taking these laid back fellows out for 15 minutes twice a day is quite sufficient. Both breeds like to play with their owners, and whilst the corgi can keep active for quite a while, the bulldog ties easily, and should not be over-exercised due to the breed's delicate health. In their grooming requirements, neither breed is lots of work. On the contrary, to keep the corgi's medium long coat tidy, three brushes a week are enough. For example, with a slicker brush or a pin brush. The bulldog's coat is much shorter and only requires one to two brushes per week, either with a soft bristle brush or a grooming mitt. However, bulldogs need to have their facial folds cleaned on a daily basis to avoid infection. Also, depending on the status of their health, they might require having eye drops or other medications applied every day. And this wraps up our discussion of these wonderful and truly unique dog breeds, the Welsh Corgi and the English Bulldog. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Corgi videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Femria Corgi Show.